Everybody ready for some football breaks tonight? We have got a pair of them on tap. One of them is an actual football. Uh, the other one is a case of optic football. Before we get started ripping, there is some information to go over. So let me go ahead and get that up on the screen. We'll get us all, uh, all caught up to speed here. So my feedback is automated on eBay. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get the same in return. Second thing is thank you. I appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, chatting with me. And uh, happy holidays, I guess, is our third thing on this December 23rd. Can you believe? We're almost to Christmas. It's Hanukkah. Uh, it's also almost the end of the year. I can't believe how quickly the year's gone by. This is how it looks in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, Christmas Eve, will be an off night. On Wednesday night, we're gonna, which is Christmas Day, we will break. We're going to start early at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, and we're going to be breaking a half case of Leaf autographed football jerseys, and then we're going to be breaking a half case of Elite Extra Edition Baseball, which will be the front half of the case. Note that there are separate bidding spots for Team USA and unsigned international players in that Elite Extra Edition break. Thursday night, we'll open a case of National Treasures Baseball and a case of Obsidian Football. Friday night, will be an inner case of Playbook Football and another case of Bowman's Best Baseball. Saturday night, we're going to open a 2020 Leaf Autograph Baseball jersey, a pair of 2019 TriStar Platinum Autograph Mini Football helmets, and the back half of that case of Elite Extra Edition that we start on Christmas night, we will finish it up on Saturday. Now, here's what you need to know about tonight. So we've got one free shipping break, one paid shipping break. The free shipping break, of course, is our autographed football. If you are lucky enough to hit that, you can expect it to ship out to you no later than Monday the 30th, which is a week from today. That's how the free shipping stuff is always projected out. It does often go sooner. Sometimes it goes much sooner. Uh, it probably will go sooner, but it won't go later than that. If you get skunked in that TriStar autograph football break and your team is not the team pulled, because it is a free shipping break, I would typically hold on to your consolation card or cards and send them the next time that you have a package shipping. If you would like it sent sooner, send me a message on eBay and let me know and I will get you taken care of. Our paid shipping break tonight, that is the case of Optic Football. I'm, I'm saying it'll be out the door by Friday, so it may go sooner than that. You know, if I continue to be unable to sleep at night like I have been for the last week or so, <laughs> well, I probably could sleep. I've just been staying up really late to get stuff done. So if that continues onward, it, you know, it may well go out before Friday, uh, but just to be on the safe side with the Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, etc., I'm going to project it for Friday if I can get it to you sooner. I will. We don't need to worry about consolation cards there because everybody's going to pull stuff. Lots of cards in that case. So first up is our 2019 TriStar Autographed Football. This is break number three of it. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay Monday night, the 23rd of December. And you will notice there that uh, team names are on one side winning bidders across from. There were several teams in here that did not find a forever home. No one placed a bid on them. You will see those noted as no bid breaker retains. Obviously, if something comes out for one of those no bid teams, it would hang out here with me. Otherwise, it will go out the door to one of you. So on these footballs, like anything else we do like this, where a team is not going to be shown on the item itself, most likely. If there is also no team mentioned on the little informational card that is included, then we would revert to current team for active players or the team where they played the longest for retired players. You noticed your background went out of focus there. That was on purpose. I like to see stuff up nice and close and personal, so that's why we did that. Showed you the top and bottom so you could see that our big red safety seal has not been cut. This is an actual shipping box, so this thing is going to come to you in this actual box. Well, look at that. It's Joe Flacco. Huh, what are the odds, right? You don't pull a lot of Joe Flacco autograph stuff. And, of course, Mr. Joe Flacco is uh, a Denver Bronco these days. So the Broncos with the Joe Flacco, we're trying to spin it around here so I can get you 
to where you can see there's the autograph. Well, I may need to pick up the camera. There's the autograph for Joe Flacco on an NFL uh, authentic game ball there. Where is our COA on this? There it is. It's JSA certified. You can see the little sticker on there. I don't, let me double check the box, yeah, I don't see a JSA paper certificate, but the certificate that is on the item, or the sticker that's on the item, that's the important part. As long as you have that, it can be authenticated online with just the information on that little sticker, and they might even be able to replace it for you if you reach out to them, I don't know. But so our autograph football, Joe Flacco and the Denver Broncos. Um, Richard, you said you're supposed to have the Packers. Looks like I managed to hit the camera again. How do I do that every time? Every time I'm opening memorabilia. Um, well, I don't know if I, did I make a, a typo there? I mean, it's your eBay username, obviously. It's not your actual name. So in this autograph football break, you're saying I've got the wrong information up there. Alrighty, well, if you want to hang tight for one second, guys, this is the break we just completed, of course. Let me go over here. Maybe I made a cut and paste error. Sometimes I forget to, uh, to clear my clipboard. Oh, you're talking about Optic? Well, we haven't put up the spreadsheet for Optic yet. That was obviously for the autograph football. Okay, so then I don't need to, I guess we don't need to go back and look that up. So we'll just move right on down the road here. So once again, guys, just went over this, so you probably already saw it. If you did not hear me speaking about it, please read the information on the screen so you will know when to expect your item to ship and how everything works, okay? And we are now getting ready to go into uh, our break for... I had scrolled back up because I thought we had a question about that, but now we're going into our break for Optic Football. So this is a 12-box case break. And how is this only break number two? What is today? I don't know. This just came out on Friday, maybe. I've lost track of time. Anyway, this also ended tonight on eBay, Monday night, the 23rd of December. We've got team names there on the left-hand side. Our winning bidders cross from each team on the opposite side. And there I do see you on there, Richard. So you should be good to go, my friend. And uh, everybody is all squared away. We had one person that was... I think going to have a little issue getting paid, but they were kind enough to let me know that in advance. So I was able to get uh, get the underbidder to pick that team up before we started. So made things go smoothly. I always appreciate that. So in Optic, we find one autograph per box on average, you know, um, Panini likes to say on average, it gives them a little CYA in case they leave something out, or sometimes our hits are replaced with a points card. If that happens to us tonight, that rewards point card, of course, will be uh, just given out using random.org at the end of the break. There are massive amounts of parallels and things like that that we're going to see tonight. Just loads and loads and loads of them. I can't get this line back up after I whacked it while ago with that football. <laughs> I guess we'll be all right. So as we go through the first box, what I will do is talk about these parallels and how things are numbered. We'll go a little slower through the first box. Then our subsequent boxes will speed up and move through them a bit faster. This break does take a deceptively long time, uh, primarily because we have such a massive amount of packs to open. And you can't do like you can with tops where you can just like sh and rip it down. Oh no, not Panini. They can't make their packs like that. You have to grab them and pull them apart at the seams, which takes much longer. But anyway, we get through it, don't we? So we'll get all of our We'll get all of our uh, packs open first, and then we'll start taking a look at what we have in box number one. Oh, Richard, no worries, man, no worries. People, um, it, that is easy to get confused, you know, when I do multiple breaks in a night. Sometimes you might jump in just when the spreadsheet's up there and not always catch the, the title at the top of it. I can see how it would happen, so no sweat, man. 
Jay Allen needs the Panthers. Richard, you have answered Cameron's question. Looks like he wanted to know who the player is. Yeah, it was Joe Flacco for the Denver Broncos on our autographed football. Of course, he's riding the pine there these days. Drew Locke looks like he might make it. But speaking of the Broncos, you guys remember, of course, failed uh, draft pick, failed first round draft pick, Paxton Lynch, right? And he got bounced around all over the place and finally this year ended up on our Steelers practice squad. So he's our, our fourth string quarterback. And he may actually have to play for us this <laughs> our last regular season game. They benched Duck Hodges for... And put Mason back in. Mason looked like he might be decent this go-round. And then he got popped and hurt his shoulder and something else. So he had to go out and they had to put Hodges back in. And so then we only have healthy Hodges for the final game of the season. So that means that uh, Paxton's going to have to come up from the practice squad and be the backup. So wouldn't that be something? If I end up with Paxton Lynch as the quarterback for my Steelers this week. <laughs> it could happen. I hope it doesn't, but it could happen. All right, so our numbered parallels, there's an example of one with that light blue color. Anytime you see that particular color, it will be numbered to 299. We will flip the first few of those just to demonstrate that fact. Then as we get further into the break, we will no longer flip them because we just know what the color parallel is. Ditto for the reds. They are numbered to 99, and all the red ones, at least that are not autographed, will be numbered the same way. We'll find plenty of these. That is a rated rookie base refractor, which uh, Panini refers to as prism. You're probably going to hear me refer to it both ways. I forget and say refractor as often as I will say prism, but they are the same thing just means you get that pretty little rainbow of colors when the light hits the card. Lots of those ad cards, I generally flip them, show you front and back to make sure no cards are stuck to it because these little cards are notorious for wanting to stick to one another. They also tend to have a little curvature to them. Uh, that coating that they put on them, you know, kind of uh, leads them to to curve at times. So we are starting off here with a Mitch Trubisky dynamic for the Chicago Bears. So if you've got the Bears, that's an excellent way to start. There is a relic and an autograph and that little bad boy doesn't come out too often. So Mitch Trubisky and the Bears out of our first box is a nice hit here in Optic. So this is a throwback card design. They are not numbered. Uh, they generally are not prisms either, although some of them may be, but they are not typically numbered. They're cool. They're nice to look at, but not numbered. And here we have an orange prism. It is numbered to 199. So again, the light blue are to 299, the orange to 199 but we will continue to flip over to demonstrate that at least through probably most of this first box. That's an elite series insert. We'll find plenty of those. Uh, mostly they're going to be base inserts. We could find some that refract slash our prisms, but we may not. Brandon Cooks for the Rams. This is a different color blue. This is more of a, a royal blue. It's got more purple in it, however you want to call it. Those will be numbered to 150 when we see them. The Champ is here. Those, are, those will all feature Patriots players, of course, as, super, as the Super Bowl champion. They're, generally speaking, not going to be numbered. I believe that whole insert series are prisms. Uh, we'll see when we find another, but I think they are. So there again, another light blue takes us to 299. And that's an example of just a base prism. It's not a rated rookie, but it's the same concept in that it is a base card that is a prism, not otherwise numbered or anything like that. 
jail and you've been running around getting ready for Christmas and you're worn out? <laughs> I bet everybody is. Aren't we all kind of worn out running around getting ready for Christmas? I still have a lot of gifts to wrap. In fact, most of them. <laughs> so I've got to get that done uh, tonight in the wee hours or in the morning. So our light blue are numbered again to 299. It's base prism. And our little insert card. So on those base prisms, I'm generally not going to say base prism every time we see one. I mean, you can tell that it is a prism when it goes past. I will likely only say the team name or the player name or some combination thereof going forward. And of course, our numbered cards, we will not continue to flip those particularly unless they're low numbered. Otherwise, when we see red, we know it's to 99, the royal blue to 150, the orange to 199, the light blue to 299. Richard, we didn't have a downtown in our last case. Um, this is only, of course, our second case that we've done of Optic this year. I think this came out on, what, Friday, guys? Is that right? I think it came out Friday. So we broke it Friday night and then again tonight. And we didn't have one in that case. You know, they don't actually, Panini doesn't technically call that a case hit. You can even see there on the side of the box, they just refer to it as an ultra rare insert. Now, many times it will be a case hit, but sometimes it isn't. I think it often depends on what else is in the box or in the case, I should say. But we'll see if we get one tonight or not. Um, of course, getting that, that Mitch Trubisky autograph and relic is probably more or less the equivalent of a case hit. So I don't know if we'll get downtown in here or not. But they're certainly um, elusive to... But, you know, it was kind of that way last year, too. We would have cases where we didn't have any. And I think it was... In that product I don't think it was a basketball product I think it was the football one where sometimes we had none and then in other cases I found more than one so I have no idea if it's going to be like that this year or not I just know we didn't find one in the first case Richard you've seen some cases that have two in them okay so I guess it is going to be the same way this year as it was last year then I'm reading back up. Jay Allen, you said you would wrap for cards. <laughs> you like to wrap. I, you know what? I kind of don't, but that's probably because I spend all day wrapping cards and mini helmets and jerseys and all that, right? <laughs> it was the Lions. I mean, I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it. It wouldn't be on my top, in any top five list of mine. We'll put it like that. So this is purple. Before we saw a royal blue type situation, this guy is purple. When you see the purple, they are numbered to 50. And you see how they slide around. Those cards are, they like to get on the move there. They get kind of staticky and stuff and go crazy on me sometimes. But I think we've got it under control there. So purple, every time we see that one will be to 50. It's to 2.99. the Eagles. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A redemption is our hit in the first box. So all the redemptions that we find tonight, they're going to set right over here in what I call our housekeeping area. And they will stay there until the very end of the night. And then at the end of the night, we'll flip them over. And we'll go to the Panini website, check it out, and see what, if anything, they are numbered to. It's to $2.99 for the bills. Oh, J. Allen, yeah. So, we, yeah, it was last year then. That's what I was thinking, where we had uh, some cases where we had multiples in it. And J. Allen's confirming that it was, in fact, last year where that happened. It's so numbered to $2.99, Saquon Barkley and the Giants. Who was the player that you hit two of in the same case from me last year? I don't remember that. I mean, obviously, I remember we had some multiples, but I couldn't tell you the players. 
That was Paris Campbell and the Colts with a prism. Gardner Minshew prism. Of course, then again, I do lucky to remember what we hit yesterday. In fact, I probably couldn't tell you most of what we hit yesterday. <laughs> it's the hazard of uh, constantly breaking and sorting and shipping cards and things. I see so much stuff it doesn't register for very long. An MVP insert, Steve Young. In the last case, I think we only found one or two of those MVP inserts. They aren't numbered. Um, I don't think they're going to come out super often, but we'll have to see after we get through this case. Give me a better idea. That was Miles Garrett to 199, the orange parallel to 150 for the Eagles. And box number two is all finished up. There's some guy on Tampa Bay. <laughs> I'm surprised you even remember the team or anything. I definitely would not have remembered any of that. You've got a good memory, man. Vlad says it was Mayfield. Did we hit two Baker Mayfields last year as well out of here? We might have. I mean, I want to say there were a couple of cases where we had multiples. I feel like there was one case of it where we found like three or four of them in it, wasn't there? Or did I just dream that? I don't know. It's a weird little, it's a weird little thing, that downtown insert. It either shows up not at all or it shows up in multiples quite often. So, strange. Vlad says, yeah, we did. We did hit two last year um, of Baker out of the same case which of course uh, probably made some good money at that time that was his rookie year so probably made a little a little dollar or two on that we don't have any new releases this week mercifully um, we don't have anything until, I think, the 3rd of January is our next new release, which is not that far away, actually. And that is, I guess, what, a week from this Friday? Is that right? I think so, maybe. Anyway, on the 3rd, as it stands at this moment... Panini is telling us they're going to release both Contenders Basketball and Contenders Football on the same day. Now we'll see whether or not they stick to that, but that is what I'm hearing at the moment. So that means that Friday, January the 3rd, will be a big day with both versions of Contenders hitting. I guess that's why they're giving us a little break, right? Well, that and the fact that holiday shipping schedules are notoriously horrible, as we learned over Thanksgiving when, you know, they just decided not to deliver some of my stuff. <laughs> they brought it a day late. Yeah, it's always fun. Always fun. Another champ is here. Insert this one has uh, Tom Brady on the front, but again, those are not numbered, even though that one was patterned, and it is a prism, but it's not numbered. I am trying to take care of all my drivers, though, all my delivery people this holiday season, so hopefully they'll pay us back and take good care of us next year. So I've got a different UPS driver than I used to have, so... Uh, I've got a different postal person than I used to have. And actually, I think I had a different FedEx person, too. It's numbered to 99, the Dolphins. So I got them all little gift cards. It's to 299, the Falcons. So maybe next time, they'll deliver my stuff on time. <laughs> that's, that's the thought, anyway. <laughs> There's a nice little black border for the Packers. They're playing right now. Jace Sternberger, and it is numbered to 25. So whenever we see the black border with, I forget what that pattern name is, but whenever we see that, those will be numbered to 25. Hopefully we'll find a few more of them. It's to 299 Vikings. 
if we get lucky enough, uh, we might even find some green in here. Terry McLaurin, Redskins, base prism, or, re or rather rated rookie prism. Greens and optic are numbered to five, which we found one of in the last case. Joan Williams, numbered to 99, is our autograph. So the Patriots are on board here with an autograph hit out of box number three of Optic. That is numbered to 199 for the Raiders. Tennessee Titans. Cowboys, who had another, ooh, bad, bad game. <laughs> bad game. The Eagles just beat the stuffing out of them. I really just don't see how they're going to, how Jerry Jones is going to leave Garrett as the head coach. Maybe he does, but boy, I don't see how he does. The Jets beat up on my Pittsburgh Steelers. The Bengals, Andy Dalton to 199. They now officially have the number one draft pick. Doesn't matter what anybody else does. The Bengals only have won one game all year. <laughs> and I bet we all know who they're going to draft, don't we? Yeah, they're going to take Joe Burrow. There's not going to be any question about it. Joe Burrow will be the heir apparent in Cincinnati. My guess is they will, I'm going to just pull that little thing right now. My guess is they will expect him to start day one. I think Dalton's probably going to be gone in the off season. And then uh, little uh, Ryan Finley. I don't even think they'll make an attempt to say Ryan Finley's going to start. Uh, maybe they'll keep him as backup or something, but... My thought is they're going to ask Joe Burrow to play day one up there in Cincy. I do think we're going to have a lot of quarterback turnover, though. I think Mariota will be gone from the, from the Titans. Jameis Winston may be gone from the Buccaneers, but I wouldn't totally swear to it. I don't know what the Jags will do with Nick Foles, but with that contract, they may have to keep him. That, that's kind of a that's kind of a tough one. I think you got several guys though that'll be on the move. Veteran guys, I mean, obviously. We'll see how it comes out. Tua, of course, would have been had he not gotten hurt there at the end of the season. Tua would have almost certainly been the number one overall pick. Even injured, if he declares, I think he probably goes in the first round. But I don't think he goes, like, in the top five. Probably falls farther down. I mean, the Dolphins have, what, like, eight million first round picks this year? coming up. So I could see the Dolphins ending up with him with maybe one of their first round picks. Dak Prescott and the Cowboys to 199. Tua, I mean. If he doesn't go back to Alabama for his senior year, which he might. Feels like, yeah, stuck to the back. It's the Bengals. But when the season started, I never would have guessed it would have been the Bengals that would end up with the worst record of the year. The Rams. Uh, fans of the game. So we'll find a few of these. You can see on there it's got the Browns uh, as the team that she is a fan of. So as such, that will go to the Browns. Any others that we find, it'll be the same thing. Josh Jacobs, that is numbered to 150 with our royal blue parallel. Jay Allen, you need some Panthers and you're going to hit the hay. All right, brother. Well, I hope you get some good sleep tonight. We will try to find you some Panthers. 
Meanwhile, we found another black parallel for the Packers. So the Packers have a pair of them numbered to 25. Darnell Savage Jr. happens to be on that one. I don't know if the Packers are currently winning the football game, but they're doing well here in the break. It's the Bears to 299. We had an, Engel, uh, an Eagles uh, Alshon Jeffrey refractor prism that went by a minute ago. Another redemption. So it's going to join its brother up there in housekeeping where it will be hanging out until the end of the break. To 199 Redskins. Number to 299, the Raiders. Steelers with a rated rookie prism. Wraps up that box. Well, if I can get the paper off of it, the plastic, whatever I'm trying to say. fair amount more of optic to break. I don't know that we'll get it all done before Contenders comes out, though, trying to work around the holidays, because I've also got a lot of baseball that still needs to be broken as well, so we'll just be mixing and matching some things for the next 10 days or so. Definitely we'll be doing more memorabilia as well. Trying to clear some of that out. I've let so much of that pile up. Including some autographed baseballs. I've got a couple of cases of autographed baseballs. Different series of them. And I haven't quite decided how we'll break them yet. Maybe by the half case. I'm going to try to get those uh, up and running before too long as well. Had a bunch of fantasy sports breaks. We've done those before, but it's been a while. So we'll probably try to do some fantasy sports breaks, uh, all three sports, football, basketball, baseball. Probably try to do some of all of those somewhere maybe in the next two weeks as well. And I'm sure there's all kinds of other stuff I've still got that I'm just not thinking of at the moment, too. So, we've got plenty to keep us busy, in other words, even without new releases for the next little bit. To 299, the Bengals. To 299, the Panthers. Cam Newton is another guy that I wonder what they're going to do with, if they're going to hang on to him at the end of the season or not. Derek Carr, Prism, Raiders. To 99, Tyler Lockett, Seahawks. Seahawks are about out of running backs, I think. So are the Steelers, for that matter. <laughs> I think, well, we still have a couple, but I guess James Connors done for the year. That was a Silver Prism Bears. There's Silver Prism Greedy Williams for the Browns. That's to 299 Easton Stick Rated Rookie. And our autograph. It is numbered to 99. And we have ourselves Taylor Rapp. So there you go, Rams. We've got you an autograph here out of box number, what, five, I think? That's five. 
Um, it is uh, the Broncos. The Joe Flacco is the Broncos because that's his current team. So uh, you probably missed when we talked about all that before we opened it. We actually discussed how that works. The Saints, that's to $199. Um, I think it's also in the description of the listing. So the champ is here for the Patriots. But basically, it's like this. If the insert that came with it had said anything about one team versus the other, it's the Packers to 150, then it would have gone to the team that was referenced on the insert. However, the insert did not say anything about it. That is rated rookie for the 49ers. And otherwise, then, retired players go to the team they played for the longest. Active players go to their current team. So, of course, Flacco's current team being the Broncos, that is where that one heads. And that's the way that stuff generally works, you know, on custom stuff or things, memorabilia that doesn't list a team or reference a team on anything. That's typically how it's going to work. Current players to their active players to their current teams, retired players to the team they played for the longest. Oh, yeah, no, I hear you. I mean, that's definitely a legit question that, that makes sense to ask because I guess every breaker probably does stuff a little differently. Everybody's kind of got their own way of handling things like that so for sure it is always best to check it out so that you know you know what's what with it that's the only thing i don't like about doing memorabilia is that that it doesn't always have a team referenced especially on something like that like an autographed baseball or an autographed baseball bat or an actual football an actual basketball any of those kinds of things completely subject to however the breaker individually handles it so I think everybody just does it a little differently truthfully did you have either one of those teams show did you have the Ravens or the Broncos I don't even know who had what team I mean, I know I did the spreadsheet, but you guys, uh, I don't retain that stuff. I'm in such a hurry when I get it done. Most of the time, I'm not even really reading the username. I'm just cutting and pasting as fast as my little fingers will fly to get it all ready for the, for the start time. All right, let's see what's in here. It's Broncos rated rookie refractor slash prism. I keep forgetting to say prism. Texans to 99. Prism 49ers. To 2.99 for the Rams. Number to 150, the Saints. Alvin Kamara. And who's trying to stay up there? And Indianapolis Colts was trying to not join the pile there. Buccaneers to 2.99, and we have a Josh Allen dynamic. Uh, very nice because we already had the Mitch Trubisky dynamic, and now we're going to have a Josh Allen dynamic. So kind of digging this case right now. That's a really nice looking relic on there too. So our last case, we had zero of these that I remember anyway. This case, we've got a pair of them. Josh Allen there is numbered to 25. And our Mitch Trubisky, um, I forgot to look. Let's look. On the first time, he's numbered to 15. So I didn't catch that on the first time we looked at the Trubisky. So not too shabby. We have another black border numbered to 25. This one, though, is headed to the Ravens. It is Mark Ingram. The Ravens have said they're going to set uh, Lamar and pretty much all of their star players in the last game, which is against my Pittsburgh Steelers. So maybe my poor dilapidated Steelers will have a chance, but probably still not. <laughs> That's to 199, the Texans. 
You know, those last two or three games have been just bad for my Steelers. But at this point, since we've lost our last two, not only do we have to win against the Ravens, it's the Rams, Taylor Rapp, Prism, we also have to have the Titans lose, I believe, to get back in that final wild card spot. Since we blew the last two games, we knocked ourselves right out of that spot. It's the Cowboys and Amari Cooper prism. So we're now officially at the halfway point. We have opened six boxes. We have six boxes remaining. Richard, you said the dynamics that we pulled, those are the first ones that you've seen. Yeah, I mean, they don't come out very frequently, truthfully, um, in my experience. And the fact that we have two in one case and they're both quarterbacks that's you know pretty good well i mean they would both be quarterbacks but i'm pretty happy about it is the point i had to have a little caffeine there sorry i am wondering though if we will once again find that we don't have a downtown insert in here since we're hitting all these dynamics instead So we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. Ooh, somehow that one did sort of almost let me tear it down. Well, I wish I could find that every time. Sort of like that. Yeah, maybe I can figure that out. I don't know. It's so much quicker with the tops wrappers because you can just grab that knot and pull straight down and it comes out very cleanly these are not really inclined to go that way at least i've never been able to get panini wrappers to go that way it seems like a silly thing but it's so much faster i bet you save at least Two minutes a box which if you do that times 12 you're probably saving 20 to 25 minutes per break just in opening wrappers if you could do it the other way it's crazy right it adds up even a minute per box you'd save 12 minutes the little thing matters the little things matter Rob, how are you? And uh, Nicholas is here too. So Nicholas, this is, um, you know, you see we've got five back there and this is uh, coming out right now. So we've opened six and this is box number seven of 12 that is being opened right now. That's numbered to 99 for the Steelers. And hi, Nicholas, by the way. And Richard, I agree with you. I like the downtown cards. I hope we find some, but I don't know. It's an MVP insert, Lawrence Taylor for the Giants. Since we're finding these dynamics, I'm not entirely convinced that we'll find downtown, but we might. To 299, the Colts. If we get lucky, we will. Panthers, Brian Burns with a prism. Rob, you said you like the downtown cards, too. A Kyler one just sold for 150 Yeah, I would have thought maybe Kyler would have been a little higher than that, but that still is a good price. That's rated rookie um, Sternberger Packers Blue Parallel to 150 Yeah, I mean, definitely 150 is still a nice, a nice little sum. Don't get me wrong. Prism for the Redskins. I just thought Kyler would have been higher. Especially after <laughs> dismantling uh, Seattle this weekend, right? That is number 250. It is Noah Fant and the Broncos. That is our purple parallel. We've actually had more black than purple, believe it or not. The black, of course, to 25. Number to 75, it is Drew Sample for the Cincinnati Bengals. That is a blue parallel. They are numbered differently when they're signed, which I think is dumb, but they do. That was a rated rookie Darius Slayton prism for the Giants. Uh, 
Oh, you haven't seen Nicholas? You haven't seen the Barry Sanders downtown come out of anything yet? Well, it is early, though. I mean, it just, what, was this a Friday release? So there's still tons of it out there to be broken. The Texans and DeAndre Hopkins with a prism. That's to $1.99 for the Colts. To $2.99 the Jags. And that's, that's that box. Yeah, Richard, you're you're kind of on my page there. So I'm I'm surprised that it's as low as it was too. I mean, because the downtowns again are not really guaranteed to be case hits by Panini. We just get spoiled because they do most of the time come out of a case, but they don't always. But even so, there's not going to be that many of each individual player because there are multiple players available for that particular insert. So they do usually bring pretty solid prices and not that 150 is bad it's again still a really nice uh return on investment if you hit it but i just would have thought kyla would have been more i'll be interested to see what these are that we're hitting tonight what did i say those are called dynamic i'll be interested to see what those are bringing I might have to look that up after we get done tonight. You can hear our little cat is down there playing with his toy. That's what you hear. He's got a little ball that rolls in a track. And he likes to lay down there and roll it. And especially there was some packing paper that came, I guess it was last week. And I was in a hurry to get some stuff out. I, it was probably like a, you know, because it always comes on release day. So would have been in a hurry to get it out and get the stuff sorted and checked in and all that. So I just kind of absentmindedly threw that brown packing paper off in a corner and happened to be the corner his toy was in. And he decided he just loved it. He loves to somehow have the extra noise of the paper while he's playing with it. So that is that is what you hear. <laughs> it's him playing with his toy and his paper. It's like sometimes you wonder why you even buy cats uh, toys. Because honestly, they'll play with anything. That is Nikhil Harry and the Patriots, a Prism rated rookie. Texans Prism, Dexter Lawrence Giants Prism, I mean sometimes he comes up here and jumps in this pile of wrappers while I'm doing breaks, he likes to do that too, probably because it's noisy, to $2.99 Darius Slayton and the Giants. Rob, you said, oh, the Josh Allen dynamic is $129 or best offer. All right. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. Mitch Trubisky and the Bears, number to 25 for Chicago. Getting a lot of black border tonight, which is, of course, good because it's low numbered. To $299, Matty Ice and the Falcons. Whoops, that's uh, the champ is here. Insert for the Patriots. Is that just a... Uh, yeah, there's nothing attached to that. It's just laying there. To 199 the Bengals. There's Joe Flacco. 199 for the Broncos. Prism for the Steelers. Looks like our autograph is headed to the Baltimore Ravens. Trace McSorley, numbered to 35. Woohoo, the plot thickens. Yeah, nice to get one to 35. So the Ravens are on the board. 
that Julian Love is to 150 for the Giants. All right, eight down, four to go. Yeah, Richard, I agree. We we have had an unusually high number of the black bordered ones. In most cases, I would expect to find two or three of them, and you generally find more of the purple ones to fifty. In this case, we in this instance, we have only found I think maybe two purples. I think two, but we have found maybe five or so of the black border ones. We'll recap both the purple and the black at the end of the night, so I'm just kind of mentally trying to tally them right now, but we'll definitely recap them. I always recap the 50 or lower in this product, but not the stuff that's numbered higher than that, because there's so much of it. Rob says that's going to be a, uh, <laughs> that's going to be a Metka for Redemption setting in front of me up there. Well, it might be. I don't know. We got a pair of them up there. It might be. Could be that. Could be Benny Snell Jr. for the Steelers. He comes out a lot as a redemption. Uh, who else have we been seeing in football for redemptions this year recently? I know there are others that I'm just blanking on. <laughs> Richard says it's going to be a Brett Favre redemption. <laughs> oh, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? Is he even on the checklist? <laughs> I don't know. That would be a nice one, though. We'll find out. Got a pair of them setting up there right now. Maybe it'll make somebody's holiday season happier, depending on who's on the other side, I guess. Yeah, maybe uh, you get an early holiday gift, depending on who it is. <laughs> Speaking of purples, there's one for the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen to 50. Anybody happen to have the Vikings game on? Anybody know what the score is by chance? Vikings, Packers. Speaking of Brett Favre and the Packers. To 199, the Jets. Of course, I think they're both clinched, so I don't guess it matters a whole lot. Rated rookie prison, prism TJ Hawkinson, Lions. That is to $2.99 for the Saints. MVP Dan Marino Dolphins insert. Although I guess it would matter for the seeding, so I guess they do still have a little something on the line. They each know they're in, but they could improve. The seeding could be improved. There's the Jags and Nick Foles prism to 99. The Titans with Walker. Our autograph is Julian Love to 50. So the New York Giants bringing home Julian Love autograph. Another little advertising dealio there. Andy Isabella Cardinals to 150. I felt like that had something. I guess it doesn't, but it felt like there was something on the back of Christian Wilkins, but I guess not. Broncos to 299. Cardinals, David Johnson, Prism. Prism for the Bengals, Drew Sample. And that box is out of the way. Nine down. Three to go. It's 10-9 Vikings at the halftime. Okay. Well, that first drive was like a gift to the Vikings. <laughs> you basically, you know, the fumble, the guy picks it up and gets you down to what? About the seven yard line, maybe. So your first and goal. 
And when they had to just kick extra, they had to kick the field goal for that and didn't punch it in the end zone, I thought, oh boy, this might be another long game for the Vikings. But sounds like they've gotten their stuff together since then. Of course, you know, that's all, all the guys are talking about, all the talking heads how Kirk Cousins is 0-8 on Monday Night Football. <laughs> so you know he's probably so sick of hearing that. He's just praying he wins tonight so he never has to hear them talk about how he's never won a Monday Night Football game again. I'm sure that's not what's on his mind right at this moment. But just in generalities, you know he's thinking, oh, please just let me win for that reason if no other... <laughs> That would just be terrible. That's the way it goes, you know, these days. There's so many statistics right there at anybody's fingertips at any given day. They can tell you anything you want to know from a player's entire career in the matter of seconds. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes as a player, you're probably like, oh, I wish you didn't have all that information right at your fingertips. <laughs> that's how I would think about it anyway, I imagine. That is the Bears to 299. That's Broncos to 199. A rated rookie for the Steelers that was also a prism. You know what? Let's just grab that other little advertising card. I see it sitting on, on top of the stack, and so may as well just grab it, right? It's my viewpoint on it. Prism for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, prism for the Giants. Ooh, green. You know what green means. Green is to five in this product. Go ahead and look at those other two base cards. Get them out of here. And it's headed to the Eagles. Clayton Thorson, rated rookie. Isn't that who we pulled to five out of the other case? Am I wrong? Wasn't it him again? If so, we would have pulled two of the five. <laughs> I feel like it was who we had our green out of the first case was Clayton Thorson. Maybe it wasn't, but it sort of feels like it was. That is to 150 for the Redskins. Champ is here. Insert for the Patriots. To 99, the Lions and TJ Hawkinson. I see an autograph coming up. It is numbered 250, and it's Drew Sample. For the Bengals. Oh, Buffalo Jr., it was Carson Wentz to five the other night. Okay, so, well, I, well at least it was a quarterback and it was an eagle. <laughs> I'm surprised I even remembered that much, but I got the wrong one, it sounds like. Of course, Clayton Thorson's not even with the Eagles anymore, but doesn't matter because that's what he is uh, on that particular card. Number 210, you have Khalil Mack and the Bears, Mythical. So we've done very well with our numbered cards tonight. A prism for the Lions. All right, we have two left. Ten down, two to go. Did I already cut that? Probably, but I will. Now I've done it again. Rob says Kyler Murray Basin here is even going for $15. Well, he he's not coming out of this product a whole lot in terms of variations and such, at least not in my observation. So I'm kind of not totally surprised that his base is is doing well because I haven't seen a lot of color coming out for him. So he's a little more elusive, I guess. How are you, Buffalo Junior, by the way? 
I just start reading what you wrote in there. I don't even think I said hi, but hi. Eventually we'll get them all out of the wrappers. <laughs> just get, oh, I guess they're tired of taking, taking them out of wrappers when there's such a tiny little amount of cards. There's only four cards in every pack. You just want to, I mean, I know they do that for the purpose of retailers so that retailers can sell them at a lower price price per pack but, oh man just give me like eight cards and ten packs <laughs> like please i say that every year though like oh please not so many of course it's still better than straight up don russ those have so many cards per box and isn't that that one i think is a 20 box case, isn't it? Some outrageous number, like Hoops. You know, Hoops has a million cards, and that's a 20 box case. It's like, oh, I hate those. <laughs> I always dread those. I like doing, I like seeing the cards, but man, I hate when they give you those huge, huge uh, cases of base heavy stuff. So that was an insert for Sony Michelle to 199 for the Patriots that went by a second ago. To 150, that's the Saints. A Will Greer rated rookie prism. Numbered to 299, Odell Beckham Jr. and the Browns. Who's now trying to act like he wasn't telling other teams to come and pick him up, to come and get him, but we all know he probably was. The Bengals prism. And our only velocity tonight thus far is Lonnie Johnson Jr. for the Texans. Those are not numbered. Uh, that one has a particularly heavy curvature. Remember I told you guys that several of these do just because of the coating. That one was particularly noticeable. Our last case of this also only had one velocity, one teal velocity. So maybe that's going to be the norm. I don't know. We'll find out. I know, Buffalo Junior, you're not usually able to be here with us live, so it's nice to have you tonight. To 199, the Eagles. To 99, Zach Allen and the Cardinals. We've got the Buffalo Bills and a Josh Allen prism. Poor Chargers. They've had a terrible year. What's Philip Rivers going to do? The Giants and Eli Manning prism. Miko Hardman Jr. Chiefs to $2.99. Oh boy, kids. Right as I said, we haven't had a lot of Kyler Murray. <laughs> Arizona Cardinals in the house. Kyler Murray to 99. There's your man on a rated rookie prism parallel to 99. Kyler Murray. I like this case. We've had lots of good stuff in this case. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It is um, last box mojo time. I think we just hit what should have been our last box mojo right there, though. That was a sweet little hit. <laughs> but who knows? There might be more fire in here. We're about to find out, aren't we? Heading into the final one. Buffalo Junior, yes. Contenders is the next football release. That will come out on January the 3rd as it currently stands, unless Panini moves it. Both football and basketball contenders will release on that same day, Friday the 3rd of January. Of 
course, we do have our our two redemptions to find as well. So, beyond what we see live as our last live autograph, we will still have those two to flip over at the end. And so here's how we'll do it. We'll look through what we have here. Then we will check out our two redemptions. I'll take us over to the Panini website whereby we will um, verify them, look at the teams, find out what, if anything, they're going to be numbered to using that online Panini checklist. After we do all of that, we will recap our cards that are numbered 50 or lower. And we will recap, of course, our autograph hits. So that's how the next few minutes are going to go. After we do all of that, recapping of the cards and the, and the verifying of the redemptions, etc., then I'll put spreadsheet information up one more time. So if you jumped in uh, at a point at which I had already gone over it all, you'll get another opportunity to find out when you can expect your item to ship. And we'll also take another glance at the breaks that are coming up in the days ahead if you have any interest in knowing what's on tap it's already listed on ebay that we'll be diving into over the course of the next five days that is a rated rookie for the vikings to 199 to 299 a rated rookie for the vikings they were both alexander madison he's of course i guess done for the year he's injured i guess he's out for the year I don't know if he could come back in the playoff run or not. That was um, another champ is here for the Patriots. Bengals, Prism. A Prism for the Bills. This is purple to 50, Demarcus Lawrence, Dallas Cowboys. To 150, the Seahawks. There's a prism for the Vikings, Kirk Cousins. Speaking of the devil, there he is. Bengals to 299 to 99 Buffalo Bills Tyree Jackson that's a prism for the Steelers where's our autograph I was like going man it held on to like the third to last card of the whole box Oh, but it's a nice one. Amari Cooper for the Cowboys. Very nice. So this happens to be another instance where we have uh, had a case with no downtown insert. But some very nice veteran and other hits. Veteran and rookie hits. Very nice in both cases. So, I don't know. I, th I do think sometimes that matters. I think sometimes if you don't get as much in the way of autographs or whatever that you tend to get downtown more than if you have big autographs you get it not as often let me bring up the panini website here real quickly i usually have it loaded but i somehow had tops up tonight instead because i wasn't thinking about what i was doing i guess so just give me one second we're going to get it loaded up and at least i think we are oh good lord it wants me to answer some dumb survey question before it'll give me the checklist. Stop that, you stupid thing. Take me to take me to your leader. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. I know. It's a drag. I'm sorry. 2019 Don Russ Optic. All right, now when we switch over to it, we're at least going to be ready to go. We were going to have to do it eventually anyway, so... Rob says the Kyler autograph is on eBay for $5.99 to $9.99. Yeah, I figured it would be pretty solid. So that's, that's a nice, again, nice return on investment. So who's on the other side of redemption number one? That would be Jeffrey Simmons, 
Rookie Autographs Purple. Is he the Jets, guys? I want to say, well, I don't know if he's the Jets. Jets, Titans, I'm not sure. We'll find out on the checklist. I can't remember for sure on him. Our other one is Trayvon Mullen Jr., Rookie Autographs Hollow. Okay, so um, let's go check it out. After I got the website up here, let's go look at it. See what we can figure out on Jeffrey Simmons. I, I want to say Jets, but that might not be right. What is that? I got all kinds of weird stuff popping up on me now. Rookie Autographs Purple. It's like my, um, what do you call it? It's trying to update or something. My Norton, I think. What is this again? Rookies Autographs Purple. Rookies with an S. I guess I got to keep going. There we go. Card number 108. Titans. I was right the second time. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Jets, Titans. Yeah, Titans would be the answer. Titans and numbered to 35. So let's get that all labeled up. And now we're going to go find out what Trayvon Mullen Jr. is numbered to, if anything. Rookie Autographs Hollow. He is card number 119. Uh, yeah, he is numbered. He's numbered to 99. Okay, so let me get him labeled up. And then we're going to be ready to recap it here for Optic. All in all, I think this was an excellent case of Optic. We've got some really good stuff out of here, in my opinion. So purple to 50, Demarcus Lawrence, Dallas Cowboys. This is not numbered, but these have been, at least for me so far, only coming out one per case. That is Teal, Velocity, Texans, Lonnie Johnson Jr. Mythical, Khalil Mack, number to 10 for the Bears. Number to 5, Clayton Thorson for the Eagles. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills to 50. To 25, Mitch Trubisky and the Bears. To 50, Noah Fant, Broncos. The Ravens to 25, Mark Ingram. And the Packers to 25, Darnell Savage Jr. Packers again to 25, Jace Sternberger. And the Saints to 50 with Saquon Hampton. So those are our numbered our lower numbered cards, 50 or lower, that are not autographed. Everything else that was numbered is 99 or higher. We don't recap all that because there's so much of it. Trayvon Mullen Jr. Redemption will be numbered to 99, goes to Oakland. Jeffrey Simmons Redemption will be numbered to 35, goes to the Titans. An Amari Cooper Prism Autograph for the Dallas Cowboys. A Kyler Murray Prism Autograph, Arizona Cardinals, numbered to 99. For the Bengals, it is Drew Sample, numbered to 50. Julian Love and the Giants, numbered to 60. I think I said 50 earlier for him, but that does say 60. Trace McSorley and the Ravens to 35. Another Drew Sample for the Bengals, that one is to 75. Dynamic. We hit two of those in this case. We've got the nice three-color relic and autograph for Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. It's numbered to 25. It's kind of hard to see there in the because it's in the image, but it is there. Taylor Rapp and the Rams to 99, a prism. The Patriots, Joan Williams to 99, a prism. And another um, dynamic. This one is Mitch Trubisky. It is numbered also uh, there in the image. Kind of hard to see, but it is numbered to 15 for the Bears. All right, so there is the break. There is the recap. Um, let me see about getting our spreadsheet information back up there, except I've got us, I have us on the wrong page. So let me get that, let me get us on the right page and try that again. There we go. All right, so we have a pair of uh, breaks tonight. One of them was the free shipping break. That's the autographed football. Uh, if you have the Broncos, that will be out the door and on the way to you no later than Monday the 30th, a week from today. We'll probably go sooner, might go a lot sooner, won't go any later than that. If you got skunked in that football break and uh, you didn't hit anything, 
Your constellation card or cards would typically be held to ship with your next package just because it is a free shipping break. If you would like it sent sooner, you send me a message on eBay and let me know and I will gladly get that taken care of for you. Um, Optic, which we just finished up. I'm projecting will be out the door no later than Friday. It may be out the door sooner than that. A lot of it's going to depend on how late I stay up tonight, honestly. <laughs> So the last few nights I've been staying up till like 2 and 3 in the morning to get stuff done. So might do that again tonight. I don't know. Uh, but Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, obviously factoring into there. So I'm projecting it no later than Friday. And if I can get it out sooner than that, of course I will. We don't worry about consolation cards in this break because every team pulled cards. What's coming up in the days ahead? So tomorrow night for Christmas Eve is an off night. No breaks there. We will break on Wednesday night, Christmas night. We'll start at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. We're going to open a half case of Leaf Autograph football jerseys, which is the back half of a case we started a day or so ago. And then a half case of Elite Extra Edition Baseball, which will be the start of a brand new case. Note that there are separate bidding spots for all Team USA cards and all unsigned international players, each of those with their own bidding spot in that break. Thursday night, National Treasures Baseball, Obsidian Football, both by the full case. Friday night, an inner case of Playbook Football and a full case of Bowman's Best Baseball. Saturday night, a 2020 Leaf Autograph Baseball jersey and a pair, two, of TriStar Platinum Autograph Mini Football helmets. And then we'll finish up that case of Elite Extra Edition that we start on Christmas night. We will finish on Saturday night. So that's it for me tonight. Of course, I'm off tomorrow night. I will be back at it on Christmas night. So hopefully I'll see some of you again then or sometime soon. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your holiday week. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy holidays. Whatever you celebrate, enjoy it. Have a nice week ahead. And uh, I will be back at it Christmas night. Bye now.